in this video lecture we will discuss sequence impedance like in our last lecture we discuss symmetrical components and we discuss symmetrical components for the voltage the zero sequence component the positive sequence component and similarly the negative sequence component we also discuss the operator a that operator a when multiplied with some vector it rotates the vector into 120 degree counter clockwise similarly we discuss about the a square this rotates the vector into counter clockwise 124 degree and similarly we derived this matrix in which we can relate the phase angles of a three phase system to its positive its zero positive and negative sequence component and similarly we derived the same relation for the currents in this video lecture we will derive a relation for the sequence impedances so this was the in our last lecture we defined that the zero sequence component can be calculated by relating the phase voltages the voltages a b and c to its operator and we can calculate the zero sequence component the positive sequence component and the negative sequence component of the voltages and if we just write it in a simple manner the voltage relates to the sequence voltage with a matrix a or the sequence voltage relates to the phase voltages with a matrix a inverse so in today's lecture we will talk about sequence networks of impedance loads impedance loads so i tried to find this topic uh, in principle of uh, principle of power system we came in the book but there are very little detail is given so we will study this topic from our reference book page number 4 double 3 so consider a three phase system and if we consider the voltage between the phase a and the ground the ag the vag so the, the here we have the vag similarly the voltage between the c and the ground is vcg and similarly the voltage between the b and the g is the vbg and here we have some load connected to the neutral point the z in so the z y the z y is the load connected between the vag and vbc and similarly the vbg and vcg while the z in is the load connected to the neutral so here we can see that the voltage vag is equal to c y into ia plus z in into ia the voltage vag if we consider this a closed loop this a closed loop is total a closed loop and apply kvl we can see that vag is actually the summation of voltage here ia into impedance plus in into zn similarly for the voltage we can further simplify this that we can write this that the z in is equal to z in into i in and i in is equal to 
आई ए प्लस आई बी प्लस आई सी आई एन इज इक्वल टू इन द बैलेंस फॉर्म इट इज इक्वल टू आई ए प्लस आई बी प्लस आई सी और वी कैन राइट दिस इन द फॉर्म वाई जेड वाई प्लस जेड इन टू आई ए प्लस जेड एन इन टू आई बी प्लस जेड एन इन टू आई सी सिमिलरली वी कैन राइट द रिलेशन for vbg and vcg for vbg we have the relation z in into i in plus z in this is common for vbg for vcg here it will change here it will change for vbg it will became zy into ib and further when we simplify it will became z in into ia plus zy plus z in into ib plus z in into ic similarly for the vcg it will became if we again apply for the vcg the KCL we will be having VCG will be equal to ZY into IC plus IN into ZN and further when we simplify it will be came it will equal to ZN will be equal to IA plus ZN into IB plus ZY into ZN plus IC or we can write this in a form of matrix. In the form of matrix, all these component V A G, V B G, V C G, V A G, V B G, V C G. Similarly, for the I A, I A Z Y Z N, Z Y Z N, Z N, Z N. Similarly, for the I B, Z N, Z Y Z N, N. Similarly, Z N. The same is for I C for I C Z N Z N Z Y plus Z N and then here multiplying I A I B and I C or simply we can write that V P is equal to Z P I P the V P the voltage matrix is equal to the impedance matrix into the current matrix or we can write this that vp is equal to a into vs vp is equal to a into vs because we already in our last lecture we already say that vp is relating to v is the sequence these are the sequence voltages the zero sequence voltage the positive sequence voltage and similarly the negative sequence voltage they are relating to vp is equal to a vs similarly for the zp is the same and ip is equal to a into i is the zero sequence current the positive sequence current and the negative sequence current or we can just write here simply multiplying here a inverse on the right side a inverse and on the left side a inverse so we can write v is is equal to a inverse into zp into a into i is or we can simply write that v is is equal to z s into i s where z is is equal to z is is the impedance the sequence impedance like in our last lecture we discussed the sequence voltages and the sequence current so here we have the sequence impedance the relation for the sequence impedance is actually the multiplication of the a inverse the sequence impedance uh, the the a inverse the impedance and the a matrix so here if we multiply this is the relation for the a inverse 
this is the relation for, for the z p that we already derived and this is the relation for the a so the z is actually the multiplication of a inverse this total component the z p and the a this we already studied so it is the combination of all these three or we can simplify this that z n if we multiply this we can write in this form or even we can write this in this form the further simplification of this results in the form of for example if we multiply this by 3 or this multiply by this by 3 so the matrix is changed and after the total multiplication the matrix is very simple the zy plus the sequence impedance matrix is equal to the zy plus 3 into z in into 0 0 similarly zy 0 and sorry and 0 so we we can write that the positive sequence component for example the zero sequence voltage is actually nothing but it is the product of zero sequence current into z y into 3 z n or we can simply write it that the zero sequence voltage is the product of is the product of zero sequence impedance and zero sequence current similarly the positive sequence voltage is the product of positive sequence impedance and the positive sequence current and the negative sequence voltage is the product of the negative sequence impedance and the negative sequence current one thing uh, right now will be in your mind that why we need these sequence voltages sequence currents and sequence impedance so in chapter 9 we will solve symmetrical faults if in a power system there are some occurring some unsymmetrical faults that time we will have to solve or to calculate that fault currents we need to know about the sequence impedances and the sequence currents and similarly we need to know about the sequence voltages so why before actually this is making some basis for solving the unsymmetrical faults if you know the sequence voltages the sequence currents and the sequence impedance all you need to just use some simple kvl and solve the problem and solve the problem and whatever the desired quantity is needed to find you can find out so it is it should be very clear that these are not just some theoretical concept to that or fit into your mind but these components will be used to solve some numericals or some problems later on even some real time problems that will be very hard for you without having no knowledge or very little knowledge of these uh, of these sequence voltages currents and impedance so the zero sequence voltages depends upon the zero sequence current and the zero sequence impedance similarly the positive sequence voltage depends upon the positive sequence current and the positive sequence impedance and similarly the negative sequence voltage depends upon the negative sequence current and the negative sequence impedance and if we want to for example we want to visualize these 
system to the positive system how the positive system will look like or how the negative sequence system will look like we call this a sequence network how the positive sequence network will look like or how the negative sequence network will look like or how the positive sequence network will look like it is very simple just call on this equation for example for zero sequence we have some input voltage v not and we have some current i not and that current is flowing uh, or passing through some impedance zy and 3 into zn so if we want to represent this in a form of circuit we have v not the positive the negative terminal v not the i not the current passing through the circuit and then we have the zy the zy impedance plus 3 into zn impedance so this is very simple representation of the zero sequence network similarly if we want to plot the positive sequence network that is very simple we have some voltage v1 at the input side we have some current i1 and we have some impedance zy this we call as the positive sequence network and similarly if we want to find the negative sequence the negative sequence network we have v2 with some current i2 and some impedance zy and all these a we can just we already in our last lecture we told that i a is nothing but summation of the positive zero and negative sequence component similarly i b is nothing but the summation of the positive zero negative and zero sequence component with some operator a and a square similarly i c is actually the summation of the positive negative and zero sequence component with summation of uh, with uh, multiplication of operator a and a square and similarly we talked about in case of balance system we have i n is equal to 3 into i not simply it is the three times that of the zero sequence current and now if we want to change if we have for example some delta connection and we want to change it into some star connection so what will be change the value we already in previous chapter 2 when we were discussing the basic concept what we need to do is to change the delta into star connection we just divide the impedance to into divided by 3 and similarly if we have star so we don't have any neutral so it will act as an open circuit this for the zero sequence component it will act as an open circuit with some infinite impedance or z zero sequence current equal to zero when we are talking about converting from the star to delta the zero sequence show a work can be represent like an open circuit similarly for the positive sequence we just denote it by change the delta the and divided it by 3 and similarly for the negative we divide the same circuit but divide it by 3 and if we want to remove this open circuit we we have to use some solidly ground uh, inductive component to show this circuit to make this circuit uh, some we use some solidly uh, inductive circuit grounded inductive circuit we add some inductive component to remove this and this is very simple numerical and almost end of our today's lecture in this numerical 
it is uh, 8.2 uh, example 8.4 already given in the books so here you can see we have a balance load y connected we have some y connected load is in parallel with a balance delta connected capacitor the capacitor is in delta connected connection while the load is in y connected the y connected load has an impedance of zy is equal to 3 plus j4 so the y connected load has some resistive and some inductive load per phase and its neutral is grounded through an inductive reactance z in of 2 ohms so the neutral is grounded through inductive reactance of 2 ohm so in the zero sequence component actually we have this component plus this component the capacitor bank says a reactance of zc is equal to 30 degree so 30 is 30 ohm per phase is when the capacitor is in delta connected form or when we want to change it into star we will just use divided by 3 so draw the sequence network for the load and calculate the load sequence impedance two things the load sequence impedance is z0 z1 and z2 we have to find and we have to calculate the we have to draw the sequence network so here for example if we want to plot the zero sequence network the zero sequence network is nothing but the zy 3 plus 4j resistance inductance and the solid the grounded inductive reactance 2 ohm the grounded reactive inductance of 2 ohm and we multi multiply this by 3 because of the conversion from star delta conversions and similarly the capacitor bank has a reactance of 30 so the 30 is again divided by 3 for conversion so this is very simple representation of the zero sequence network similarly here we can see that z0 is equal to this 3 is not because of the conversion but this is because of the equation that we have uh, we should uh, we have zy is equal to 3 into zn so here we have 2 is the reactance and 3 is in the equation so we multiply these two last i told because of the conversion but this is not because of the conversion this is because of this equation and similarly we have for the positive sequence network we have 3 plus 4 and similarly here 30 by 3 and similarly we have as the two are in parallel these two are in parallel we can simply calculate this relation by calculating this parallel and similarly here we have 3 plus 4j and similarly for this negative sequence again the same and we can calculate this by using the parallel component this is the zero sequence component the zero sequence is the summation of zy this component plus 3 into zn this component Similarly, the positive sequence component, the positive sequence component is the actually the uh, uh, combination of this and this in parallel. So what we did, we calculated this one and this one in parallel. And similarly, for the negative sequence component, we also have the same. We have also have the same equation. So in this way, what we actually did, we divided the impedance into an impedance positive sequence impedance, negative sequence impedance, and similarly zero sequence impedance, and we draw the positive, negative, and zero sequence uh, networks. And this will help us using this method will help us to solve the unsymmetrical form. So this is the end of today's lecture.